Now, someone on the forum is asking, as a very new learner of the guitar less than two months, I'm on a basic chord book which has about 30 chords, but there are many more chords. I know this is a very broad question, but how many chords does the typical accomplished player know? Or do they add chords as they need them? Just asking to give me a realistic perspective on my learning, thanks. Well, it's always good to know how big the pile of work actually is in front of you. And by watching this video, you'll get your own realistic perspective on guitar chords and like a clear plan, where to start, which chords to learn next. So let's see. Now we start a bit theoretical, but bear with me, it's worth it. I'm gonna turn it into something very practical soon. So there are 12 different keys and each chord type there is that you learn, you can play in all those 12 keys. So even if there was just major and minor, which is not by the way, those were like 24 chords, right? And then we're only talking about one fingering for each chord and not that multiple fingerings that we have on the guitar. Um, so just to give you a rough perspective, but then you don't have to feel intimidated by um, all those different keys because I think it's not that relevant for beginners because that is more for complex songs. Even if a song is in a guitar unfriendly key like D flat major for example, you can always shift it to a different key and it relatively sounds kind of like the same there. Um, and if you have a song that modulates within, so somewhere in the song it changes key, that would be more of a complex song, so not very beginner friendly, but therefore you would need to be able to play in those different keys. Though. Now, how many chord types are there actually? Um, for me, a chord is like three notes that are connected, like played together or relatively quickly one after the other. Uh, so those triads, those three note chords are chords for me. And the main ones are major, minor, sus2, sus4, and augmented and diminished. And of those main ones, major and minor, that's the big chunk, those are the, the main ones. And then sus2, sus4 is more rare, and augmented and diminished you won't need as a beginner. Now let's listen to them, this is major. C major, by the way, this is minor. That will be sus2. This is sus4. This will be diminished. And this will be augmented. All in the same key here. Now if you say, well, there is major, minor, sus2, sus4, augmented and diminished, that is six. If you say like six times those 12 keys I was talking about, that is 72. Well, that's a lot of chords. So to answer one of those questions, I would learn them as I go, as I need them. Because if you learn them at once, it's just too much. There are too many to learn at once and then say, well, now I'm ready to go. I have all chords. Um, that doesn't work in my mind. And then it's like with the stuff that you learned in school that you never used on later in your life. Um, so it's hard to learn if you don't have any use for that. And then it's hard to keep if you don't use it. So here's a more practical approach. Now by learning your first four songs, you can actually cover all eight open major and minor chords here. And by open chords, I mean the ones where you hold some strings down and other ones are open strings. And those eight chords are the most common ones on the guitar. Everybody learns those at first. Um, so you start by learning Knocking on Heaven's Door, which covers G major, D major, A minor, and C major. So you have already four down here. Then you go on to these boots are made for walking, which covers E major and A major. And there's also the G major in it. So it's kind of like a cool mix. You have new stuff, new chords, but also a familiar chord. Um, so that makes learning um, much easier, I'd say. And then you move on to Heart of Gold, Neil Young, another classic that covers E minor and a bunch of other chords that you already know. And the last one is Beatles Come Together, which covers D minor. And then you have all those eight chords down here. Well, that sounds like a short period of time. It's actually just four songs, right? But that can take a while and that's totally fine. So take your time here. But then it's about time to leave those songs alone and just explore the guitar, explore the sound of the guitar, enjoy the guitar. And the perfect thing to do so is by exploring sus chords. So let's have a look. So this is E major. And if you put your little finger on the second fret G string, that will turn it into E sus4, beautiful sound, listen to that. Now this is A major. If you lift your ring finger, that will turn it into A sus2. 
Now a little finger on the 3rd fret B string will make it A sus4. Then D your triangle here. You lift your middle finger, that will make it D sus2. And little finger on the 3rd fret high E string will make it D sus4. And now the last one in that open position is G. You have to hold it down like that, so top string and bottom string 3rd fret with ring and little finger to turn it into G sus4. And you put your index finger on the 1st fret B string here. Now a cool next addition to your playing would be Bach chords. You have heard about them, right? And the advantage is you can now play in all 12 different keys, but there is another advantage that is quickly overseen, which is you can play short rhythms. So you can shorten the chord by just taking off that pressure here and all the sound is gone, which is not the case with the open strings. Listen to that. I took off all my fingers, but I still hear the guitar. I still hear those open strings. Which is a problem if you want to play like or something like that, like short rhythms, that is even impossible with those open chords here. So you need those bar chords for that, and the first perfect song for bar chords would be heard, the interpretation by Johnny Cash, because there is only one in it, which is F, and it's well integrated in A minor, C major, and G major. Um, and the second good song would be like in that reggae kind of feel would be Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. Now the good news is there are not only 72 chords because now we only talked about three note chords and not even all of them. But you can always like add more notes to that which will make the number much bigger and I wouldn't even think about that number. So the next cool thing would be to learn the blues. Have a listen. <laughs> Now the blues features dominant seventh chords, which are in its core still a major triad, but there's an added fourth note, which is the flat seventh interval. So let's have a listen. This is A major, and this is A7. So in its core, it's still a major um, sound, it's still a major quality to it, but it's a little different. There's more color to it, more flavor to it. And in the blues in A that I played before, I used A7, D7, and E7. And you can easily play with those open chords, the blues in the key of D, D7, G7, and A7, or in E, which would be E7, A7, and B7. And all the fill-ins, that is a different story. So now it's time to take a break from those rough bluesy sounding chords and get to something more pleasant if you want so. And which are major seventh chords and they always remind me of the beach and bossa nova and that kind of light and airy kind of holiday feeling if you want so I don't know why. So let's have a look together. So this is your C major chord here, right? And if you lift your index finger, that will make it a C major seven. Listen to that, beautiful. Then for G major, let's take it that way. So top and bottom string, third fret. Now if you have your bottom string on the second fret with the index, that will make it G major seven. Also here D, that triangle, if you flatten that and make it a bar here on the bottom three strings, that would turn it into D major seven. And then for A, if you wanna turn that into A major seven, that would look like so. It's actually the same finger as for D7, just one string up, and we'll give you that sound. Now those major seventh chords you can find all over the place, like Imagine John Lennon, um, Amy Winehouse, Valerie, uh, What's Going On, Marvin Gaye, the list goes on. And now it's time to plunge into minor chords, the melancholy of minor chords, minor seventh chords in this particular case. Have a listen. <laughs> That 
that's a different mood, right? But sometimes it's just the right time for a song in minor. If you need any help with your guitar playing, then check out highguitar.com where you can get one-on-one -on -one lessons. I understand how frustrating it is to be enthusiastic about guitar playing, but not know where to start or what to do next. And that's why every month I help dozens of people just like you to learn guitar quickly and I'd love to do the same for you. So to answer that question, is there a number that you can put to chords that you should know? And um, the answer is no, there is no number. It's an infinite number. There's so many possibilities and that's what makes guitar playing so cool and so unique. And that's why every guitar player sounds different from the other. Um, but it's cool to have a structure, to have a plan, where to start, which chords to learn next. And I hope I could give you that in this video. Now we talked about bar chords in this video. They are very important and it seems you're interested in chords. So this video might be interesting for you. 